what sorcery is in here. Okay guys, let's get ready to make up. Skincare has already been done. My face is feeling super nice, super hydrated, super good. So we're gonna go in with concealer. I am using the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer in the shade 14 Deep. I've mentioned this on this channel before. This is my favorite concealer, to be honest. I'm not a concealer aficionado, so I don't know what's good and what's not good. If you have any concealer recommendations, please do let me know below because I am in this era of makeup so we are going to just spot every dark spot. The reason why I say that I'm in my makeup era, you could say I've kind of given up on like skincare helping me. Well, no, I've not given up, but in the time it's going to take for my skincare products to give me the skin that I want, I'm very much in a fake it till you make it mindset recently. And so makeup will help me fake it until I make it. And I do feel like that's okay. Like it's okay to just be like, you know what, I've kind of given up. And also with this channel, which is predominantly skincare focus. It's very obvious when things aren't working. And next we're going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 7 Deep. I want a bit of a glow. We're doing a different foundation today, so I feel like I need my underskin to really shine through. I love this. One of my favorite makeup finds of the year. I was using the 6.5, which I think I mentioned in a previous video, but there's something about the 7 that I just feel like gives me a nice warm like tanned kind of look. Now I have a bit of a revelation to make. If you follow me on TikTok you will know this but I went for a facial a couple of weeks ago and they did a skin scan and they found out that I actually have combination skin. So all this time I've been talking about how I've got dry skin but I really have combination skin. So because of that we are leaving the forehead alone and just trying to just leave the forehead alone. So now we've kind of got the base going. Next I'm going in with the Merit Highlighting Balm. This is in the color Citrine. And I'm just gonna dab this kind of everywhere just to give me like a bit of underglow. Like it's a nice kind of gold color. I love this because this looks really good on my skin tone. Okay, so this is what the face looks like at the minute. We are kind of painted and dabbed and all the things. Okay, next we're going on to foundation. This is not a new foundation at all, but I'm gonna say that I have rediscovered this foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I wear the shade 6W1, although I need to buy 6W2 because I feel like this is just a bit too light for me at the moment. I just used this on a complete whim a couple of, like two weeks ago and I was like, where has this been my whole entire life? I've been doing like completely wrong. So we're gonna use this, but I just realized before we get into using this, I'm gonna spritz my face with the Fresh Rose Instant Hydration Mist. This foundation is matte, and I found that with this routine that I'm doing, my face does feel dry later on in the day. So just to prevent this from drying out my face, I'm going to spritz. This will also help everything to kind of settle in and hydrate my face. Beautiful. I love this. This mist is so refreshing. Like it feels so good on the skin. Foundation time. As always, we're gonna prep the sponge with our setting spray. I can't believe I've nearly finished this. I literally bought this last month. But anyway, let's gonna set the sponge using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. If you don't own this, I'm not one to say you have to own something, but if you don't own this, I feel like we're doing you, your face, your makeup a disservice, is all I'm gonna say. Give that a nice Brutzy wits. There is something wrong with my pumps. I need to also buy a new pump as well. I can't believe the price has literally gone up so much. Let me give this a shake. It's so funny how you just rediscover things. Like I've had this sat on my dresser for so long and it's been, I think I should have been really wearing this in the summertime because I was wearing another foundation in the summertime that was just not built for the heat wave that we had in the UK at the time. Do you know what? We're just gonna go with that. We've got a few splotches out. It's gonna go with that and hope for the best. Hope it's enough. Dab, and then we're gonna pat in. One thing that I learned from Jackie Ida, I've been watching one of her old makeup videos, is to really let your concealer, let that sit on your face because the more it sits, like the better coverage you're gonna get. And then when you go over it with the foundation, you kind of need less foundation because your under products have more coverage. So that's why I love to really underpaint my face and I will put on all the concealer that I need to put on, all of the, I don't know what you even call the Charlotte Tilbury Fools filter. It's kind of like concealer, but it's not concealer because it doesn't really 
really conceal but whatever that is like I like to just make sure that but it's all over my face because you see now like my face looks so flawless I genuinely look like I don't have a hyperpigmentation a dark spot a blemish in sight because of all of that work you can see things when you look really close up but for the most part all is good we have a very nice base the color looks good everything looks good well, that was like the perfect amount of foundation beautiful next is going with my concealer again and the bits of my face which i feel like need a bit more coverage i'm just gonna touch those up with a bit of concealer and we're gonna let that set we're gonna just let that sit on the face for as long as it takes me to do this next portion next we're doing brows this is the glossier boy brow in the shade black guys i'm still going strong with this thing i need to buy another one but i always feel like i prefer it now that i've had it for a while like there's still a lot of pigment but i can be a bit more heavy-handed this is an amazing amazing brow product like i am obsessed with it this is just amazing it's so good if you guys have any recommendations for brow products literally any makeup product when i tell you that i'm in my makeup era i genuinely mean it so if you have any recommendations for anything that you really love let me know i'm I don't know makeup at my big big age i do not know makeup so i am willing to learn beautiful that will do brows are on Bra Ooh. i'm looking a bit plastic not gonna lie i just looked in my big mirror i feel like the concealer has had a bit of time to sit on the face so we're just gonna blend that out yeah that covers up so much nicely so much more nicely well I mean, obviously, really close up. I've got a magnifying mirror here so I can see every pore, every blemish, every dark spot on my face, but I'm trying to not do that. When I look at my big mirror, everything looks good. I look good from afar. I look a bit plastic. I look like I'm literally like a solid block of chocolate, but that's absolutely fine. Now, guys, we're slowly but surely moving on to the good stuff. So I recently bought two new makeup products and I'm very excited to show you them because I have fallen head over heels in love with them already. They are so freaking good. So we have a new blush and a new mascara that we're going to try. So first we have blush. This is the Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in the shade Bichette. Guys, this Mm -mm -mm. I've been wanting to try Western Atelier for the longest time and I'm happy I finally did because this is so 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 good so we're gonna do a bit of blush I want to also do this blush as um kind of like a mini bit of eyeshadow as well and the lid is magnetic like how genius is that anyway this is such a nice color like look at that it's a nice like red berry color it looks so good I'm gonna do like a tiny bit on the lid and then we're gonna do a bit on the cheeks and a bit on the nose this is how i've been wearing this recently I literally looked like a clown like this is genuinely what clowns look like i've got my brush this is my next brush blend that out this is a very blendable product also by the way which i was not expecting it but it's super blendable bring that around bring that up kind of like soft but heavy-handed at the same time like firm soft but firm i should i didn't even set my makeup Oh god, what do I like? That's so pretty. Like, it looks really nice. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to see, but I can see, and that's all that matters. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna set the face with the, I also got this from my facial. This is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I'm not sure what I think about it. I know that this is like a cult classic, everyone loves it, but I'm kind of like, it's okay. Knowing me though, I do tend to change my mind a lot about products, so I'm trying to reserve my thoughts until I finish the bottle. I'm just gonna like spritz the face with this. Ooh, that is something. And that will just keep the face feeling a bit hydrated. Blend that out a bit more. Nice. Now, one thing I didn't do, I didn't actually set my face with powder, which is what I would usually do. So let's actually set the face with some powder. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop setting powder in the shade Medium Deep. Conscious to not get this all over my freaking bed. Do that. Definitely did this all in the rewarder, but whatever. It just gives a bit more coverage and it also helps to tone down a lot of the color that we have going on. Oh yeah, oh that's really nice, that is very nice. Let me bring this brush back, just to like give a bit more color. It's more like a subtle, subtle. Be a little bit, a little bit more blush. I am obsessed with this Westman Atelier blush. Like it's so really nice and it's so pigmented and it just really complements brown skin. It just looks so cute, it looks so natural. What does it look like? literally look like a freaking mannequin okay now um yeah 
So that is that. Next, we're gonna go on to mascara. So we have a brand new mascara. This is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara in the shade Ultra Black. I've also had my eye on Hourglass for such a long time, so I'm happy to try this out. This mascara, guys, is so, so, so good. If you ever read my blog back in the day, you will know that my favorite makeup is mascara there is something about mascara that i just love the look of it i remember being at uni and one of my best friends her lashes would always look so freaking amazing and i think that was like the very start of my mascara eyelash obsession and this mascara like it gives a lot it gives so much and i mean from the shape of the tube to the brush to like it just is an amazing, amazing, amazing mascara. I mean, how do I rank it to the Charlotte Tilbury mascara, to the Rodeo mascara? It's definitely up there. Do you know what I'd even say? Maybe it's better than all, all of them combined. It's such a good mascara, like, wow, so good. I love how thick and like glunky and look at that. That is what the wand looks like. Ugh, I love it. The only downside with this mascara is removing it is a bit of a bitch. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but it's worth the extra scrubbing of the eyes because the lashes this thing gives you is beyond. Um, guys, before, after, before, after, like, look at that. What? Like, no one can talk to me. I'm just like, have we seen? Like, this is what we're working with and this is just this mascara alone. Like what sorcery is in here? I don't know. It's freaking amazing. And the way it contrasts against the pink of the blush, like get out, get out of here. Lashes are on. I'm like, wow. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to do a lower lash, but I'm not a lower lash kind of girl. But you know, for the sake of this, we're gonna do a lower lash. Um, That is just adorable freaking love that i love that so much that looks so nice then next we're gonna go on to lips we're just gonna do a bit of lip balm i've got the fresh sugar rose lip treatment in the shade rose just that gives a bit of red this lip balm is also spf 15 which is good oh wow i look so pink cute and then on the bottom lip we're gonna use the super drug vitamin e lip balm i'm not the biggest fan of this lip balm but it helps to fight against pollution We've got a nice like subtle kind of pink thing going on. We are looking very pink on camera, which we are not looking in real life, but just to tone that down a bit, I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush, sponge. Beautiful, look at that. I'm obsessed, I love it. Then last, but by no means least, we are going to set the face, duh. So we are gonna set the face with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray. Obviously this is the best thing since sliced bread. Oh, my lashes. <coughs> Pretty. Let me go and get dressed and then when I come back, we're gonna do the final look. And this is the final look. I don't feel like the camera is really picking up on it because it's very bright outside. But when I look in the mirror, I can see how gorgeous this looks. You guys know I have the same makeup look for everything. This is what works for me and I love it. What do we think? It's nice and natural, but it's got a bit of red, a bit of pink in there, which gives it a bit of a, you know, a bit of edge and a bit of fun. Like I am just obsessed. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. As always, everything I've used will be in my description box. So make sure you check that out if you want any more information. If you guys have any recommendations for blushes, foundations, concealers, any makeup product, please do leave them for me down below. Cause like I said, I'm now 100% officially in my makeup era and I am on the lookout for makeup products because I'm not a makeup girly, but I want to become one. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and in the meantime, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye guys. Mwah.